All right, so how y'all doing boys? Hope you're doing well today. Today we have the brand new Tower of Trials. Now, I believe this is the seventh Tower of Trials, and I do believe this is a rerun as well. We have the Archangel one, so um, all of the characters from like the, um, what was it? Uh, Seven Nights of Black movie, uh, along with the Archangels or some like the main bosses. So I um, haven't really looked at, you know, any of these before. I mean, we do just have our, you know, typical Tower of Trials rewards, but um, since, you know, this is, you know, the team to use for basically everything nowadays, we will be using the Barn team. Now, um, in typical fashion, you know, I will, you know, just talk about some stuff in these first couple, um, you know, battles, and in the later ones, I'll just try and, you know, skip on to some of the bosses or the more challenging fights. Now, <clears throat> what is there to talk about? Um, as of, I think it was, uh, it was earlier today, only a couple hours ago, um, we did have leaks on, you know, what could be coming in the, the next future updates, and there's some exciting stuff now. Um, it is said that Global will be having a one and a half anniversary, so um, JP is actually getting the well, patch notes for that tomorrow. Um, you know, we will be celebrating both the events, the Japanese and the Global version, together, and since, you know, their weekly update does roll around faster than ours, um, they will of course get to see that first. Now, um, guesses are that we are going to have Goddess Margaret as the main unit, and Kusak as the second. Now, people were, for a long time, it was said that it was going to be Esterosa, but I doubt that'll happen. I mean, it very well could, but I just don't reckon it has. Now, um, along with the leaks, you know, we did get some other stuff, uh, just other units that'll be dropping more stuff about like, the vampire units and um, another new Escanor, which is crazy. We've had so many Escanors. Almost going to be able to like catch up with how many melees we've got. We have like, we have like six of them now, which is unbelievable. I mean, I understand he's the main character, but. Uh, what else did we get in the leaks? There was um, update for the new PvE contents, uh, talking about stuff in Ragnarok and Beasts of Ragnarok or something, maybe like, you know, some new stuff you can grind, but I mean, I'm always super keen for PvE content, like, ever since the final boss Eskinal, um, it was just, that was an extremely difficult, it was by far the most difficult final boss I've had so far, and it was just a turning point for like a lot of people, you know, too difficult and they just didn't really want to deal with it. It was too like, you know, <clears throat> tedious to grind and it was even harder on the JP version since, you know, we did have some of the Archangels that weren't out on their version when, you know, the final boss released. Um, Tamiel was a super, super big help. So we had that and damn, this boss is huge. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, so yeah, no, we did have that and if I'm not mistaken, this is the final old school um, Tower of Trials we will be getting. So super super sad about that one i'm not the biggest fan of the new tower of trials i mean it's nice and all but with only one you know like stage per like a month or two whatever it is um i do reckon they could give us just a little bit more now in saying that as well like along with the teams let's say if you are a little bit of a newer player um some of the earlier stages are so so make or break with the teams you need to build like you're forced to have molecule for one of them and you have to use sr heroes where you know, some people might not have gotten the Red Molescular or, <clears throat> you know, even have, like, enough Super Awakening materials to Super Awaken the SR characters, because it's definitely not an easy stage. Like, they do have to be fairly built out, but, yeah, this old school one, you know, it's mainly just, you know, up to whatever your best built team is and kind of altering it to the conditions. Now, <clears throat> you know, sometimes it can say, you know, there can be, like, um you know, uh, restrictions on what like, kind of units you can use, maybe it'll be only humans, demons, etc. Stuff like that, but it's not just like completely saying, oh yes, there's like five units, you don't have them built, well, tough luck, but... <clears throat> um, yeah, no, so, hopefully they do bring these back, I mean, it would be a big, big shame if they didn't, but, um, yeah, just amazing, amazing content, and I mean, running, if you guys haven't done like one of these previously, Running green Asterosa through these towers is so, so nice. Just the amount of damage he can do and just how, like, OP he is in the Tower of Trials is insane. But I do believe we are already up to our first, here we go, our first boss fight now. If you look at the rewards, that is seven Super Awakening Stones. Now, the rewards on this is just so much better in comparison as well. Like, and you don't even have to be, like, you know, insanely good to get up to this first fight. Just for the, you know, seven Super Awakening coins. But here we go, we have Lady. I mean, I could imagine... These first couple stages, stages are pretty audible, I mean, nothing super, super difficult, but... <clears throat> um, yeah, throw out these barn cards, and we should just about have this one in the bag, but... Um, going back to the, you know, 1.5 anniversary, that could mean, you know, 
the summer updates very well get delayed because we are talking about an anniversary, but um, yeah, look, throwing out this KO card and that'll be the, oh, never mind, has a revive mechanic. Um, that's alright, I mean, I wonder if we can actually just run this barn stage through the entire tower and do it, because I believe for the last one as well we did just the exact same thing and just wiped it, because uh, before barn came out I mainly used like a green Roxy kind of like full human team, but there we go, that is the first boss fight done. But yeah, I mean, other than that, there hasn't been like a complete, you know, ton of talk about Ragnarok. I mean, ever since that initial, you know, like, um, live stream they did, I mean, I am keen to see, you know, I could imagine we'll be getting Fenrir next then. Um, other than that, I can't even really think about who the other Ragnarok characters are now. They did actually say, you know, in that live stream, which was ages ago now, um, there was characters that we haven't seen yet, so keen to see who they are as well. And playing through the story, there is actually a couple cool characters that I'd like to see. Um, there's also a couple of characters just in like the farming stages of uh, Grand Cross I'd like to see, like some of the, you know, like the girl with the wings and whatnot, just like some of those characters that could maybe very well be like new SR and R characters, because I feel like I say this a lot, but Grand Cross does need, you know, a lot, like, I'd love to see the implementation of some more like lower rank characters. Now, um, it doesn't happen an awful lot, like I don't think Dokkan has had any new like, um, SRs in ages or, um, well, Fate Granddaughter only just got new ones, and it has been like, I think it's like five or six years for them now, and they've only just, like, this is their first time implementing new, like, lower rank, uh, two and three star characters, so, would be nice to see, I mean, other than that, you know, actually, we did get the, um, for the, you know, uh, top 100 PvP, there was the reward, I forget his name, but, um, there was an SR character there, but nothing like, you know, summonable or anything like that, I'd be a real big fan of seeing those, but, <clears throat> They don't have to be good by any means, but like some like the, you know, more filler characters in the Ragnarok story and like the two giant girls that you've faced towards the end of the Ragnarok story, I'd love to see them as SR like playable characters, just as you know, just to have in the game. Now, um, I was actually a big fan of how the Ragnarok story went, um, super keen for it to actually get animated. I don't think we've heard anything about when, you know, those episodes will get animated anyways. I mean, to think that, you know, they're entirely being funded by just Grand Cross itself is crazy to think like for the longest time in like the JP and Global version like we're just at like a stalemate and everyone was wondering you know like what's happening why aren't we getting you know updates out as quicker uh, just content and whatnot and then it just all happened at once you know like the countdown begun and <clears throat> it all just dropped and now you know I, we could very well like we don't know how much has to come like in this 1.5 anniversary one I could imagine it'll be a lot as most anniversaries do, but, um, yeah, no, I mean, I feel like we could be getting, gosh, I just completely lost my train of thought, um, you know, with how much, like, you know, money, like, you know, Apple and whatnot take from when you make purchases in, like, Grand Cross and stuff, it would be nice to have, see, like, a little bit more money, you know, go to the developers so that they can keep bringing out content, because sometimes, you know, some games can just be, like, a super restricted due to, like, star and whatnot, and some games, you know, could just, you know, end up shutting down I believe that's why the um, Blazing shut down, just due to like how free to play it was. I personally, I never played it, but apparently, just due to how free to play it was, it just couldn't survive. Now, um, did he just revive twice? I must, I must not be paying enough attention. Um, yeah, no, it would be nice to you know see a little bit of money. I mean, Netmarble is a fairly big company, but when like half your money or like thirty percent, whatever it is, is you know going to like external providers and whatnot, it could help out, but. Getting rid of this one, and there we go. Now, I am thinking I'm going to keep, you know, these next couple of clips. Just, you know, going through, like, stages 10, 15, 20, and 20, well, 23, 24, and 25, since, you know, those can be a little bit more on the difficult side. But, I mean, um, as of, you know, like, recording videos at the moment, we ha I have just been trying to, you know, punch out, like, all these new, like, guides and stuff of the new update. I mean, it was a fairly small update, but, you know, I have got, like, you know, um, out my guide for the new stage of the other Tower of Trials and whatnot, and I have been really wanting to try out some teams with Sigurd, but at the moment, just trying to run anything that isn't, you know, accompanying Purgatory Barn is so, so difficult. Like, the amount of times, like, 9 out of 10 matches you're facing Purgatory Barn, and no matter how, like, lucky I get, even if I kill him, like, the Eskimo there is just gonna kill me the turn after, like, it's just no fun, and, like, I'm glad Purgatory Barn is in 7 Deadly, but 
I just can't wait for the unit to, you know, counter him and to be better than him, just so we can have some competition to come out, because, I mean, hopefully that is Goddess Margaret in this, you know, next update, but, I mean, none of the summer characters can, can really compete with what he's got. He is just insane in every single way. Now that he has, you know, max weapons and whatnot, his CC is just ridiculous as well now. I think as well that the Green Lolly Merlin has been out for heaps, heaps longer than, um, you know, Barn has, even longer like than the, you know, Festival Zelda and whatnot, and is still missing, like a, I believe she's missing a weapon, and has two headpieces, which is annoying, but it's what it is now. Um, there is actually one team other than, you know, like the Barn team itself that can counter. I mean, there is the Lidocio one, but that's, there is two teams that are like really counters to the Barn team now. One of them is the, you know, Halloween Gotha, Ludo Seal, and Escanor. Since, you know, you can go first and Escanor can actually crit with the Ludo passive. Um, you know, you rank up, you kill the barn, turn one, and you go from there. I mean, once he's dead, it's a fairly easy fight. But um, other than that, uh, I've seen heaps of talk about a Amelia, like, Lolly Merlin team. And I believe it's, it might be Amelia, Elizabeth, and Gotha. But, you know, just being able to, like, remove the Nameless Dance Taunt with the stun and whatnot. I've heard things and I will have to try that out. I'll probably try it out next because I have been trying to, you know, record a video with the um, Ludo Seal, Halloween Gotha, and Sigurd, and just. It's just not going well now. Hopefully, in these next couple. There we go. Property Revive. Gosh. Damn. Gonna take another turn. Tommy, that's just an absolute tank, but. You know, I've, I've been absolutely struggling with that now. You do have a bit better of a chance if you're using that Chandler Assault Melee version, but. To think, you know, some teams are just, you know, completely impossible to use nowadays, which, I mean, power creep is a thing, like, you're not going to be able to run the PS team effectively, but it's still a shame. Okay, so getting on to our next boss stage here, stage 15. Now, nothing has been difficult as of yet enough, you know, to use HP food, but that's alright, I mean, one thing I'd like to talk about is, you know, in these previous, you know, what, two stages is it? Um, the cosmetic upgrades they give, <clears throat> gosh, Elizabeth's face looks so weird there. Um, the cosmetic upgrades they give us so, so useful. Now, it's honestly so surprising with how long, you know, the cosmetic upgrading system has been out for. The fact they haven't given, you know, more ways to, like, you know, access them. Now, they have, of course, you know, given out the, like, the Valentine's characters and whatnot. And they've, you know, given out the Valentine's Dairy if, you know, you aren't, you know, don't have the gems to summon for all of them and get all their costumes. But I still feel like there should be more. Like, we did get the Brawl system, like, the PvP mode, which is super super nice but once you've bought them out of the shop like they do go for a very good price and like it's like you should like 100 percent buy every single time but um yeah like once you've bought them you kind of have to go through that whole cycle again and towards the end half like you end up paying like a thousand coins for like each thing you buy and it can take a little while to get back around to them and like especially you know if you want to make your team as like pvp viable as possible you will need to you know try and max out as many costumes as possible, possible let alone you know actually purchasing and having the costumes so for some of like your characters with like more rare costumes um you know you have like the sr and the ssr ones um it costs an absolute fortune to upgrade those to ur let alone you know to spend another 30 and max them out in the ur but um why don't you say our card draw has been absolutely terrible <clears throat> um you know i feel like they should give out you know Always of that. Of course, this tower is super, super nice. And then the other one, they did end up giving, I think it was 60 of each one for being in the stage. But like I said earlier on, getting up to that stage can be super, super difficult for some players. And I mean, other than that, I was actually just looking at Twitter. And, you know, there is 100% confirmation that um, Goddess Margaret and Kusak are coming out. Um, there's, you know, been bundles leaked, uh, the two of them, just skins and whatnot. And um, also skins for Ludosiel, which is kind of exciting. I mean, I do have my Ludo Seal Max costumes and whatnot, but that is super cool to see now. I'm hoping we do get more leaked within, you know, like, the next couple of days and whatnot, but there we go, Elizabeth done easy. Good crew from Arthur as well. And here we go, stage 20 now. Honestly, between 15 and 20 did get quite a bit difficult, though. I mean, in saying that, you know, we did have to swap off of the barn team, because between, you know, those stages, um, you basically can't use any human team, so we did swap over to the demon, which, I mean, in all, in all honesty, is super nice, I mean, you know, use some different teams to spice up the tower, but, um, yeah, no, it was a bit more difficult, I mean, if there was any OP, like, super OP demon units, I'm sure it would have been fine, but, I mean, AM Melee can get the job done all by himself, no worries. Uh, what do we want to go for here? Uh, 
think we'll just throw up the uh, Chandler taunt for the moment. But I mean, um, besides, you know, it being difficult, some of like the actual, not bosses, but some of like the, um, you know, uh, enemies in this tower have been super, super cool. And I mean, I'm just so sad to see it go. But I mean, other than that, I mean, I, a bit, I just about have finished um, setting up the new PC. I've only just, you know, finally, I've been struck. For some reason, OBS just... It's not like it's been working, but just recording Seven Deadly is just it is just not been an easy process. Now I was dreading, you know, resetting everything up for ages before I bought it, but that's alright. I mean, we're just about there now, so hopefully, you know, this looks as good, is hopefully even better, I can imagine, than the old PC. So, um, you know, would have liked, you know, some more AMLE cards. I don't think we can actually rush his ultimate this turn. That's alright. Um, actually, I think we might just. Go full send on his cards, don't worry about rushing the ultimate. <clears throat> but yeah, no, finally done sending that. I mean, I am also running a different version of Windows, which I don't like, you know. There's just just stuff that's different, but like, you know, has slowed down my workload, I'd like to say, like, just as I'm getting used to it and all, but super, super nice having no PC. I mean, just sitting next to me, it's just gorgeous. Um, but yeah, no, I have been playing ever, ever since, you know, I bought the PC. I was, you know, planning on buying, you know, a bunch of games to actually play and try out when I got it, so. Uh, I've been playing a bunch of Doom Eternal, I've downloaded that as of recent, and has been super super, I mean just playing that on max settings, it is just, it is just gorgeous, I mean, um, also been playing a bunch of Cold War, I've said this before, I'm super super annoying that, uh, recently just finished the Battle Pass, I mean, I was super super late to, you know, starting, but that's alright, um, damn, he really just wipes out just like that, okay, I should probably start paying a little bit more attention, uh, our Chandler's almost dead as well, wow. Um, I do believe he has a revive mechanic, so I'm hoping I've propped that. I mean, we do have the ultimate here, which will definitely proc it regardless, and two single target cards, which are amplify cards. I mean, yeah, look, despite the fact the debuffs are gone now, yeah, look at that. No debuffs, and he's just still almost one tabs. Salt Melee is just insane. And here we go, the final stage 25. Now, honestly, this tower has been super, super fun, and there's not an awful lot more I want to talk about in this video. I mean, Everything I want to discuss is kind of just talking about the future of Grand Cross and the future of the channel. So, a Grand Cross one, I mean, it's pretty good. Like, you know, I'm super, super excited about this summer event now. Like, um, the Roxy and the the Merle, I'm just super, super big fans of, you know, how the units are actually made. But, um, oh, the Dosel's passive actually works as well on this. Um, There we go. We'll just quickly use our starting hand. But, I mean, yeah. And I also feel as if, though, you know, as of these past recent weeks, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like saving up for gems has been super, super. Like, they've just given out heaps and heaps. Like, for Hulk and Oslo, for, like, just all the most recent banners, I've had, like, at least 300 gems. So, maybe that's just me. I don't know. But, like, at the moment, I'm on, like, 700. So, definitely enough to, you know, just do, like, one rotation for each of the summer banners since I don't think you can get tickets for those. But, I mean, other than that, talking about the channel, I mean... <clears throat> I do plan on, you know, making more guides as, you know, we get further. I'm kind of just trying to punch out everything in this update first. And like I said, my workload has been a tiny bit slow just as I'm getting used to and setting everything up. But, uh, I mean, other than that, um, I would like to, you know, since, you know, now we do have the new PC, um, do plan on, you know, upgrading the microphone next. I do have just a typical USB mic at the moment. Um, it still sounds all right, but I would like to upgrade there. But I mean, um, going back to talking about the guides, I mean, I recently did my legendary difficulty um, final boss Gotha one, and you guys have showed so much support. You guys have been showing so much support in general as of recent. I mean, at the moment, I think we're on like 117 subscribers, which is just absolutely insane. I honestly never think I thought I'd even like you know start a YouTube channel or whatnot, but like honestly, thank you guys so so much. And the you know the amount of appreciation on that Gotha vid was super super nice to see as well. I'm glad it you know helped a couple of you guys out. But I mean. Um, yeah, I'm planning on work, like, you know, upgrading the mic, and once that's done, we will be getting face cam. I was leaving that to last, I just feel like, um, audio is just such a big part of, you know, recording and whatnot, that I feel like it's necessary that I get that next, probably more so than the PC, but I didn't want to, you know, just, like, have everything about, like, my recording and, sh like, stuff super set up, and then just, you know, upgrade the PC and have to redo it, get it done now whilst I can, but... Um, yeah, face cam comes in. Super, super excited for that. We're just getting absolutely stomped by Ludosiel, but, I mean, other than that, um, I do plan on, I did actually want to live stream the Tower of Trials we're doing right now, but, um, I really just don't think my internet could take it. It's just, I have like a six megabyte download, and it's just, it's not fun by any means. 
Um, I think we might actually have to restart this. We just got absolutely stomped. Um, actually, well, throughout these two parts, we might be able to actually still kill it. If we end up losing this, though, I will swap over to, like, a... Um, oh, no mind. Ooh. Did we still clear? No? Okay, jeez. I'm hoping we don't die here, but I think I might actually swap over to, like, an Esterosa team. Gosh, that shield is going to be downright painful to break. Yeah, look, let's swap teams and let's give this one another shot. Okay, so just as I was, you know, about to change the Esterosa team, um, completely remembered that we can't use demons on any stages between 20 and 25, because you should get absolutely stomped, so... Um, we did actually end up changing to the HP food. We should be able to complete it this time around. I mean, we also have got Eskinoi here, so... Should be easy, but yeah, no. I mean, once again, thank you guys for all the support you've been showing. I mean, I'm super... I know I've said this, like i saw three times now in this video but i'm super super bummed out to see these trials disappear like maybe if they just you know start releasing them less regularly because they were doing them once every one or two months i'd be keen to see them return but um yeah in terms of pve content super super excited to see what they were doing like talking about with the whole ragnarok beast thing um i've always been a person who's been like really intrigued by pve content and like <clears throat> doing like grinding stuff and just like some of that like more tedious stuff like I've always been a person who's been able to just like grind like a super boring and like annoying task just over and over and over on end but um I think we'll just go full scent on the barn cards here and hopefully get rid of the ads that way we can just single target focus with that's gonna after this but I mean <clears throat> team suggestions I mean like I said earlier on, like, any just kind of, like, team you'd usually use for tower trials, say this Balan team's super nice, um, you know, on some of, like, the non-demon stages, or, like, the non-human stages, sorry, you can use, like, the Esteros or even Chandler teams, Assault Melee works super nice. Um, if you'd like as well, could use Red Dairy if you're, like, struggling, because I know most people have Red Dairy now nowadays. It did actually take me ages to get my Red Dairy, and I still only have a 2-6, which is unfortunate, but, um... One, two, and three. I can imagine this will kill the two side units. Also, the recovery rate on some of these bosses, like on some of the adds and main units, has been absolutely crazy. Like, as you'll see on the Formula Dose, yeah, it just basically recovers all of it. Um, I, I'm hoping he doesn't have a revive, because I'm going to dread having to take that out. Um, hmm, not the best card. And that Rupture card's really like Maybe we shouldn't be using the Gift card. Guess yeah, Arthur is just getting absolutely just destroyed right now. Um, gosh, he's getting so much card. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Um, I mean, yeah, like that. I, like I said, I really don't have like an awful lot more to talk about. I mean, if you guys do have you know any video suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below. I mean, I'm always willing to try out teams and whatnot. Oh, there we go. The Dosil dead just like that. And that just about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and please hit that like button, subscribe, it really means a lot to me and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.